everybody, welcome back to the channel and welcome to how to transform a Toyota Igo wing into a sheet of checker plate. Now, the first thing that I've done on this wing this morning, I've prepped this wing up. This was a second hand wing that I picked up from the body shop to do basically a test panel on for you guys. And we've got a few breakthroughs where I've sanded this back. So the first thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go in with a little bit of X primer and just dust over these bits of the bare steel just to seal them off and then we can go in with some base coats and get all this base coated up now the gun i'm going to use for the base coat is the iwater impact junior that's a mini jet gun and it'll be perfect for dropping the base coat down on this size of wing we've then got the iwater blue flash body shot range that's the 1.3 setup so we can use that for clear coat in the later on stages of today's video. Now, airbrush wise, I've got the Creos PS290, and that's got the spot cap and it's got the fan cap. That's a 0.5 mil needle setup. So that's good for a bit of coverage and a bit of intricate work, so we can use that. And then for the airbrush side, I'm gonna use the Iwata HP SPS Eclipse, which is a 0.35 needle and nozzle setup. So we've got that. Paint wise, base coat, we've got a solvent, nice silver base coat, and then we can move on to the airbrush colours, and we're gonna use the Golden Range and some of my grayscale mix, my own grayscale mix range. So we've got a titanium white, I've got a value one on the grayscale, which is a jet black. We've got a shading gray transparent. I've got a transparent orange oxide, transparent yellow oxide, a raw umber, a burnt sienna, and then I've got two of the grey scale, I've got a value three and I've got a dark grey mix. So they're the paints we're going to use to get these textures down. I'm going to use a few little texture tricks. So where this actual wing has got the shapes on this, we're going to make this wing pop on them shapes and do the highlights and the textures so it really looks realistic guys. We've got two masks of the checker plate, two big stencil sheets so we can use them. I've got the pocket graphics by Scott McKay, so we're going to do some rivet heads and do some rivet styles on this. We're going to do rust on this today as well, and we're going to, if we've got time, we'll get this clear coated later on in the video. So they're the bits we're going to be using. I'll drop you in a time lapse. We'll just blast a bit of etch primer on these broken through bits on the wing on the bare steel, and then I can show you the stages after that. So see you in the next step. doing the textures now on this wing I've mixed up a dark grey a little bit of transparent and we're basically just just going to dust over this wing as you can see not not heavy just give it a light coat I'm not bothered about it spitting or getting like chunky bits down the paint over that and I'm bouncing the trigger to make it spit more so that will do on that we'll just check a bit down here and now we're going to drag the scotch right over in passes And where the curves are on this arch piece here, I'm just knocking it right back to the silver. So that highlights that more. Making it look a little bit more steel looking instead of a bright silver. Because I could have dropped these checker plate stencils over bright silver and it would have just looked too odd. It would have just stood out like a sore thumb. But if you do the beaten up steel behind it and give the background a texture, it can just look a lot more realistic on the panel. So that's nice and easy. We've got the texture 
running down the panel and I've done it running one way we've done a highlight edge here so I'll just knock that back a bit more knock the paint back so it brings that silver out there and I've took a bit out the top so it pops that piece out there we can drop whites and just bring them colors and make them pop a bit later on so the next stage on this just going to let that water base dry down now because I've hit that when it was quite wet so we'll let that dry down give that a little wipe off and then we can start adding a few rust tones where the indicator piece will, was here we're going to darken this out and we're going to do a rust piece in here and some rust drips coming down where the light and the top of the bonnet would be we'll do some burnt back bits coming across here and then we can start all the checker plate so i'll see you in the next day. and you can let this build up let the paint build up if the paint starts to run off it's just another texture it adds to that rust look nice and simple and do it where you've got if this panel was standing up on the side of the car you would get these runs coming down where you get build up of moisture on rust as you know on rust as you see it wherever there's moisture built up and it starts to rust through it starts to get runs down metal panels so if this panel was up we've got the runs coming over the top a bit where the indicator is it's, it's just coming out there and running down we've got a couple of breakthroughs here so that will do for the first pass and we're just going to mix a dark grey mix up because I don't want to go too black on this so you're basically going to lay your shield down and start on a section and working your way along the panel And always think of your light source as the panel was standing up the light source is coming from the top so you're hitting the tops of all this checker plate as i say it does take a bit of time so there you go there's the panel we've gone in with the whites and i've done some scratch backs just to pop that out we've gone in with the scalpel and done like the scratch backs on these burn through pieces so we can add more and more to this we'll continue with this across then i'm going to start to line off some bits and make the checker plate look like it's bolted on and lifted away and then we'll work the way down the panel so i'll stick you in a time lapse for that and just work across this panel see you in the next step
you go guys, there's the finished Toyota Igo wing with the checker plate, we've got the rust, and then you've seen in the last time lapses, we've dropped the torn steel in, I've dropped a, which looks like a carbon effect on the inside of that, and we've got the torn metal, my logo with the aluminous green, and the aluminous green Igo logo on this piece of torn here. So nice and simple to do, just got a couple of torn images off Google, traced them across, a bit of transfer tape, you see me mask the wing out, it was all masked and we just went in with a black and then just work your layers and work them across, we've done the tears. We could have spent a lot longer on these and I could have got these even better than they look now, but I've put enough time into this, it's been about a day a day and three hours and we've got the wing up to, ready for clear coat, so it's all good to go for clear coat. I've just dropped a little bit of panel wipe over that just to gloss that up, because I've got other things to do today and I've not got a chance to clear coat this. But that's the finished panel and I hope you've enjoyed the video on the wing. Now I wanna just run through with you the giveaway. We've got the Iwater HP SPS, and this is the one I've done to do the wings. This is the last time I will use this brush. I'll give this a full strip down and clean. It will be boxed, so you get the spanner and the info in the box with this brush. And what I'll do is I will release the winner, which will be next Sunday, around this sort of time, which is about, Five o'clock, I'll release the winner, and then contact me via email, send me your details, and I'll get this posted out to the lucky subscriber winner. Uh, if you want to enter for this giveaway, you have to sub to the channel and leave a comment on this video, which is gonna be up tonight, guys. So if you wanna enter, drop your comments, sub and drop your comments on this video, on the Toyota iGo wing and then you'll be entered for the giveaway guys so i just want to say a big warm welcome to all the new subscribers it's really cool to get over a thousand we're going over a thousand now which is really cool and thank you for all the comments it really does mean a lot guys uh, i'm glad you enjoyed the content and yeah i will see you in the week for some more dread effects custom paint and then i'll see you in the giveaway i'll do a little post up to let you know when it's going to be announced and i'll just drop a little video i'm going to do a random pick of a subscriber and i'll let you know so thanks for watching see you in the next one